Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a product review of the Obia Natural Hair Product. Okay ladies, so I was actually, I went to um, Dallas, Texas uh, last year, 2012, and I met the owner of Obia um, Natural Hair Care, and then I was in Atlanta this year in uh, March 2013, and I'm met with her again and uh, she gave me her products to try she gave me the curl moisture cream the curl enhancing custard the curl hydration spray and she also gave me uh, two of her shampoo bars um, I won't be reviewing the shampoo bars today because I haven't used them um, but maybe in the future I'll review them or maybe I'll do a tutorial of how I use them um, something you know I'll, I'll tell you something about it before I get into the review, I just wanted to tell you all about this really funny selfie commercial featuring Kobe Bryant and Lionel Messi. If you're like me and you love to travel, this commercial will have you laughing out loud. Click on this link to check out the commercial. Okay, so I'll start with the Curl Hydration Spray. Um, it basically says to use daily to hydrate and refresh curls. It has argan oil, rose oil, and coconut oil. Um, I could definitely smell like the rose oil in this. It smells really poignant in, as far as like a rose floral smell. That's what I definitely smelled. Um, I use it for a leave-in. I think the bottle has a really nice spray um, nozzle and I think it really goes on well. I thought it was nice. It moisturized very well. Can't say nothing bad about this at all. The Curl Hydration Spray was good for a leave-in, um, but it's definitely a light leave-in. So if you have really thick hair like mine um, and thicker leave-ins, weigh your hair down, or you have really fine, loose textured hair, then you would prefer something like this because the thicker leave-ins definitely um, are going to be weighing your hair down. So I think it was really good for that. Also, the next thing I used was the Curl Moisture Cream. And I like this as a moisturizer, um, but I don't like it as a styler. So for me, when I was using this, um, it moisturizes really good. I love how it feels on the hair, how it softened my hair. And um, I did twists in it so that way I could rock my hair and twist out to see what the results would be. Um, and the results were nice. I definitely liked how my hair was, but the Throughout the day, it became really, really frizzy, and the curl definition did not last long. So, for a moisturizer, it was perfect. It really moisturized my hair. But as a styler, it doesn't have enough holding power for me and what I like. So, for someone who is looking for a nice, lightweight, soft moisturizer that does not feel greasy, does not feel sticky, um, does not feel oily like shea butter or something, you, you would love this. You would really, really love this. And then the last product was um, the Curl Enhancing Custard. And um, I think of the three that I have here, this is my favorite. I really, really like the Curl Enhancing Custard. I used it initially um, to coil my sides of my hair. And I used the Curl Moisture Cream to do my twist out the first time I tried the products. And of course, the hydration spray was my leave-in. So that combo, I said that my twist out was really frizzy. Um, the Curl Custard, Curl Enhancing Custard, was good on my coils on the side. But then the next time I used the products, I just used this. I used the hydration spray as my leave-in and then the Curl Enhancing Custard to twist my hair and coil my hair on the sides. And I love it. It's actually what you can see now. I think that the Curl Custard would also be good for wash and goes, depending on your curl type. Um, I haven't tried it just yet, but I will try it just to see what it work, how it works. Um, and if I do, I'll give you an update. So, the first, so I did use the um, Curl Enhancing Custard by Obia, and I just wanted you to show to show you the result. I really do like it. I think it is a really good curl definition to my hair. Um, I'm actually shocked that something else can give me um, a wash and go, but when I was using it in my hair for a twist out, I kind of just felt like it would. The, the consistency of the um, custard really made me feel um, confident like this would give me a good wash and go so I'll probably do a tutorial on it sometime later um but I definitely like the curl enhancing custard for the twist out it's definitely a better styler um and it's also good as a moisturizer because my hair is definitely soft and moisturized so that is really it that's really it I did enjoy the products um, um but I think they're doing a really good job um with their products the packaging is amazing I mean you get 
12 ounces. These are huge products. Um, this one is 8 ounces of product. This one is 12 ounces. The custard is 12. The cream is 8. Um, and the spray is, you know, 8. So I think you get a, a large amount of product, which is great. Um, and apparently they're all natural. All the ingredients seem to be natural. No, not, yeah, they're all natural. So you can't go wrong with trying So these. tell me, have you guys, have any of you ever used the Obia Natural Hair products? Um, I'll put a link in the description box so that you can find out where to get them. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every couple of days. And if you have any questions, leave them below. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye. Your B -L -A -C -K is a bag of cars. Like I said, he loves cars. So these are like some truck toys for the kids to play with. And then I got this, um... Your B L A C K is not E.